So I have to say this, I've got my first to love with an amazing young man, a doctor. Yes! Yeah. So this boyfriend behind you. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, and he's from South Africa, so like, we Skype in. So you guys at the death of both were like London and like South Africa and like one and like his name is Mo Life, so make subscribe to his channel. Like the link will be down below and it'll be throughout the whole of the video on his YouTube. So make sure that you click on and subscribe. He's got amazing vlogs and he's just a cool chat and you should subscribe to him and his partners well they make really, really good videos together. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> 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 so what we do today is I do respect the vibes. So Mo. Yes. Hi. Hey guys. <laughs> Actually, I'll pull on my hat. Here he is. Hey guys. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I am doing. Okay. This is how I'm going to actually do it like this. I think it makes sense to do it like this. Let me move my camera back. Let me start doing it. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Okay. So, how are we going to start? Let's start. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to start. Okay. I don't know what to start. Okay. So, how long have you and your, your you and your man have been together for like two years, right? Yes. What makes your relationship so successful? I don't know. I don't know where to start, but first of all, okay, um, in a relationship you have to know that you are an individual before you are like a couple. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. You have to be yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. Love yourself. Like it, it has to be all about you first before the you know the relationship. If you don't do that, you're gonna lose yourself. You're gonna find yourself being something that you're not, trying to be trying so hard to change for that person and all that. So it's 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 very important to actually you know know yourself and love yourself before you can be in a relationship because if you don't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love someone else? That's true. Exactly. So, in the future you've been together, have you ever like broken up or like had a break? Nope, no breaks. I don't wow, believe, really? I, serious, I don't believe in breaks. Like, once you break up, yeah. once you break up, you broke up for a reason. So, like, <laughs> exactly. Why come back together? Like, you know, you mm -hmm. just, it's not going to work. Don't change to be like uh, to you know to meet someone's standards or whatever, but you can change things that you can change. For example, mm -hmm. your character. Your you can change some things like you know. I mean, we are humans. We we change. We evolve somehow. Like you can't you can't expect things to be the same as two years back. So mm -hmm. when you're in a relationship, things change, and you have to allow things to like just allow it to happen like go with the flow you know don't don't say oh we used yeah. to do this we used to be like this we hate no don't dwell in the past like focus on the future and make changes where you can and leave the things that you can't change like that's basically what you should be doing in the don't I change videos is true yes because people do do that like they like comparing stuff to how things used to be and you shouldn't be doing that you should be living in the present otherwise you're gonna you're not gonna realize all the good things you have in front of you you keep thinking about the past absolutely so mm. don't live in the past you can't change someone's personality like how they talk how they walk how 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 they do things you know like those things but you can change maybe their character you can change what I don't know, a character is like, maybe someone is, um, you know, an alcoholic, uh, it's, um, you know, those kind of things you can actually change because... You can make someone a better them, but you can't change 
someone genuinely like you should accept someone the way they are and how they are unless something is a sincere problem exactly. that is going to eventually weaken your relationship rather than better you as a couple so those are the things that people don't tend to concentrate on because how someone walks how someone talks how someone dresses is completely irrelevant to how your relationship is the outcome of a relationship exactly, is it's exactly. like how they treat you and how they make you feel exactly that's, I think people tend to forget that. Yes. And we tend to like focus more on like, you know, superficial things like looks, yeah. like um, mm. how they dress, how, you mm. know, those mm. things are very superficial, they're not important. Like what's important is the person himself, like the soul, <laughs> you know, like be attracted to the soul, not the body. Cause yeah. the body, cause like the body can change anytime. Like, a person can gain weight, can you know lose their complexion, they can be hit by a car and like you know cripple. Like anything can happen to the body. Don't ever, you know, think you're irreplaceable in a relationship. Mm. I oh. love people think that. Don't yeah. Tell me about it. Oh, <laughs> not true. Pause it for a second. <laughs> Alright. I have to like I have to sort this life and then I'll just get my tips. Sorry, guys, I just have to get comfortable. Okay. Um, we were on the third point, right? Yeah. Um, don't think you are irreplaceable. Don't and stop doing, like, don't get too comfortable and stop doing things that you used to do before you had that person, before you, you actually were in a relationship. You know, for example, before you meet someone, you know, before you are in a relationship, you always make sure you like bath before see them, before seeing them. You make sure you look good. You make sure you. Um... Yeah, like, don't ever let yourself go. Basically, like when you're in a relationship, still remain the person that they were attracted to in the first place. True. Don't be jealous of the relationship with his friends or family. Yes. Never be jealous of those because you cannot compete. You can't compete with my like if we're in a relationship. Don't compete with my friends. Don't compete with my family. Cause like the, 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 the relationship I share with them, it's different. It's different from this, the one, the one we share, you know? So don't ever get jealous of me, like, you know, spending more time with my family or spending more time with my friends. Yeah. Yeah, as long as I, you know, I make sure that I give you my, my time and we spend quality time together. Don't be jealous of the, the other relationships that I have with my family and my friends because they're, di they're different relationships and you can't compete with them. You found them in my life somehow. Like, exactly. yes, you found my family in my life and you found my friends in my. You can't come and try to change me and tell me no. Don't. Oh, that was like my first relationship. They tried to do that. Huh? You know, don't don't control your, your partner and tell them don't hang out with that person anymore. Don't. Exactly. Do Unless, unless those people are like bad and you know that their relationship, their friendship is not going anywhere. Then that's yeah. when you can actually intervene. Hey, you know what, I don't think this person has your best interest. But have some valid points. Don't just say you think that you, you shouldn't be angry with them because that, it seems a bit controlled. Yes, yes. You have to have reasons like, like, you know, mm -hmm. good reasons why you don't want them to hang out with the, the friends anymore. Mm -hmm. Don't just say, oh, I don't, I don't like your friends. No, I don't like your family. I don't like your brother. I don't like. No, that's rude, and that's not what you should be doing as a partner. Exactly. Yeah. So um, the fifth point is um, don't be selfish. Oh, communication. Wait, ha your fifth point is way different to what you sent me here. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All over that. Like, I don't know. What did you just say the fifth point was? Don't be selfish. Wait, where are you? Wait, now? Have we got the same list? I started from um ten. Oh, you started from ten. Yes, I started from ten. And you're going, going down. down. Yes. You. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joy. Okay, let's do ah. point. Two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. Don't be selfish. I get it. Don't be selfish. Yes. Um, in. Now this is good for me to be honest. Huh? No, I'm not a selfish person. I'm not selfish. The person I last seen was actually very selfish. Is it? 
Tell me about yes. it. Well, so basically, so obviously I'm seeing someone, you know, and like I was talking to this person from like ages ago, from like October. Yeah. But nothing was set in stone, but because I didn't feel like they were, I didn't, I felt like it was just only words and there was no action and I'm not going to just dedicate myself and give my time to someone who's just only words and just talking, talking, talking and yeah. I'm not seeing evidence of that, someone who truly wants to be with me. Yeah. So, then that person ended up moving and I would go from my house and I would be spending time with them every week and I enjoyed it, it was fine, fantastic. And then everything went, um, everything went left, I went out and I remember I phoned the person when I was on the train and I lived like maybe like one and a half hours at the longest away from the city. Mm. So I, my phone was on 17%, and I was up. Mm. And I just got my train from where I live. So evidently, 17% is not going to last me. Yeah. An hour and a half. So by the time I got to the club, my phone was dead and everything. Like, there's nothing I can do at that point. Like, mm. you know? So you know where I'm going to be because I'm hosting at that place. So you can happily just come or whatever. Mm. And then we already discussed prior that after the club, I'm going to go to the to his house. Mm. Mm. Um, so I left the club in like, when I go club, I obviously wear my outfits, right? <laughs> and where the person lives is not, not like, um, it's not like one of the most open areas, okay. right? So I paid money to get a cab to go to that person's house and that person mm. left me outside for nearly an hour and it was awful because I phoned and I, I, I was pressing the buzzer because I don't know if you have it in South Africa but like you have flats and then you have to uh, intercom so you press the buzzer yes, and the person yes, comes up. Like, yeah. So like the he answered mm. and I was like thank you let me hear and that was it so I thought he was coming and you never can. Oh and my I, god! And I had to get changed on the sh street <laughs> into like my clothes off and off. It was awful. It sounds hilarious, but in that sort of area, South London, it's nothing to be messed with because it's like full of drug dealers and stuff. And all it would have taken is for those drug dealers to pass that house yeah. to see me dressed in the fishnet and changing on the street in that clothes. Whoa. I don't know. I could have just been in trouble. Like it was not. It's not a safe it's not environment. Safe. Yes. It's not at all. And like um, so I I left there. And even till today, I have never seen like a sorry or even a missed call or anything on my phone. It's so, so it's like, if there was meant to be an issue, which I don't understand when it would have been an issue because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. But you could have come downstairs and talked to someone like an adult, especially for the fact that this person is older than me as well. So I yeah. don't understand where all of that comes from. But yeah, so the so, selfish part, yeah. I understand because I think that is totally selfish he was and it's selfish. very thoughtless. And it's just, it just goes to show you like, you can be putting your time into so many people. Yeah. You can put your time into someone and it still can, they still can treat you like shit, even though they may not particularly be. Because I was literally, I feel like I was taking a chance. I was like, Junior, just try it. Yeah, yeah. And I tried and hmm, that's what happened. Ooh, sorry to hear about that. Well, he's gone now. <laughs> um, point number five, communication. Yeah. It's it's very important. This one, I actually, Absolutely. it's very important. You have yeah. to learn how to, to communicate when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're angry, when you're, like, you have to know how to handle your partner. You can't, I mean, there are, there are different ways to like, you know, um, communicate, you know, you can't, um, for example, um, when we're happy, you can't be showing sad faces and, um, you know, sh being moody and all that shit. So you have to always make sure, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you have to always be in the, in, in, in the moment, you know, communicate. Don't be on your phone, don't be on 
don't be doing other things when we are communicating you know what i mean so communication is very important you have to always plan things together like talk about everything um you know talk about your plans and what your 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 you know your goals your all those things they're very important your partner wants to know wants to know who they are in a relationship with you can't just be in a relationship and all you do is kissing and having sex and like nothing else <laughs> like you have to make sure that <laughs> For, of course, like, cause there, there are those relationships, those kind of relationships where you are in a relationship with a person, you never talk. All you do is have fun, go clubbing, go do whatever, and you know we all think it's perfect. Yeah, there's until, nothing deeper. There's, there's no not connection. True, there's no connection. Nothing, you know, deeper than that. So it's very important to communicate with your partner to know what in their head, you know. And yeah. yeah, to avoid all the misunderstandings and everything that could happen if you don't communicate. Mm -hmm. And I have my two cents. Okay. Always, always say, um, I feel like whenever there's a problem. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why? No, 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 you, okay, the other person will understand it. As soon as, soon as, you, as soon as you say, I feel like, and then you say, state the problem, the other person comes down immediately. Immediately, as soon as you say, I feel uh -huh. like, the other person, the other person will actually, I don't know, it just happens. At, at, least, uh, at least I learned that from psychology. It comes the other person down. If you say, I, I think feel, I know, I think I know what you mean. But when you, when, when, you, when you say, I feel like, you you are doing this wrong. Mm. It's, it's, the, the other person is given an opportunity to to ex yeah. express yeah. himself. Yeah, or, or it's like an open uh, way of expressing your opinion without feeling like you're attacking someone else. Yes, yeah, something like yes. That. And you see your boyfriend and he's hanging out with some guys and all that, and you start getting jealous and stuff. You want to confront him. What should you do? You know, you have to communicate. You have to actually talk to that person and tell him how you feel. You don't just go to them and be like, Oh, you! I saw you with the guy. I saw yeah. you listen, listen, listen. Yeah. No. That's where com communication gets in. You, you just sit down with him. Can we talk? You know? I feel like you were touching this guy, you know, in a certain way. And I didn't actually appreciate that. I didn't... I feel, I feel like... See, I don't know that stuff. See, that, that you can... Then you can ease it. I totally get what you're going yes. to Because then you can be like, no, baby, it's not like that. Like, you can you have a, a way of expressing and calming down the situation before it even gets to the situation. Exactly. With me, I never had that. Anytime I stated what I felt, I was, I was very calm about it. I was even in like, half time. Was in a jokey matter. And then anytime that person would feel when they want to say something, they'd be like, you people, this is the thing with people like you and you people and you lot like always refer me to a general type of person and I actually feel like that, that was really disrespectful to me. It's very disrespectful. Because imagine if someone keeps talking to you, you're like, like yeah, like if your boyfriend kept saying that to you, you people, you people, it's like, what are you trying to say, you people? Like, how many people are you going to have? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's true. Like, really, how many people are in this relationship? Yeah, like, me, 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 me. <laughs> That's the, when people actually complain like that, I feel like it's obvious. It's always people like that who have the most problems, that like blaming everyone else and never take responsibility for their actions. Exactly. Uh, okay, you both are uh -huh. perfect. You're not perfect in a relationship, right? So yeah. you have to make sure that you you have room for forgiveness. Always forgive mm. your partner. Like you can't keep a grudge on your partner you know you can't keep, keep a grudge forever you can't go to sleep without actually talking about that thing and reconciling you have to always make sure that you fo you forgive your partner mm -hmm. am i making sense <laughs> yeah you are making sense right you should never sleep on something unresolved basically exactly so always always kiss and make up so, does, it, are you, does that regard my situation that I just told you about? <laughs> there are other situations where forgiveness <laughs> is just not an <laughs> option. <laughs> for, like, for example, <laughs> no, you don't always 
forgive anything. But why? You forgive, but you don't forget, okay? Okay, 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 okay. In your situation, darling, like, I would never forgive. Like, I would never. I would never. I can't forgive that person. Like, he left me outside. I could have. I could have. <laughs> I could have been robbed. I could have been raped or anything. Anything could have happened yes. to me. So, you can't. Thank you. You can't leave me outside and expect me to just smile and say, oh, I forgive you. No, it's not, it's not happening that way. That's not. That's not. <laughs> Okay, wait, at, at least let, let them let them explain why they why they did that shit. <laughs> That's what Kevin said. It doesn't what Kevin said but I don't feel like you need an explanation because I was downstairs with an explanation. I was just downstairs. You see? Oh wow. And it's still like Tuesday and still nothing. So you see? That obviously didn't happen. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I so it's very important to always forgive your partner for their flaws. Because we mm -hmm. all have flaws, we all have mis we all make mistakes, and if you want to make it work, you have to always leave a room for disappointment, you know, yeah. for you know, all this mess up. Because we all mess up sometimes, so leave a room for forgiveness. Always forgive. Um, number two, don't cheat. This one is just you know straightforward. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I, I definitely agree with this. I mean, if you don't want to be with someone, then just don't be with them. What's the point of cheating? What's the point of cheating? If you don't want to be what with someone, it? leave them and go for that person you want I'm to cheat with. Like, I can't stand it, you know, sometimes. I mean, how much anuses do you want to go and skip inside? We're all going to be the same at the end of the day. It's true. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, it's, it's true. Like, how much people can you keep having sex with until sex feels the same like this? You, this, this, this I don't know how much people want to go through when you're just going to get the same thing anyway. The grass exactly. isn't always greener, you know. <laughs> true. Yeah. True. Yeah. And it certainly ain't as brown as this. <laughs> <laughs> you are crazy, dude. You are very crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> So it's yeah, true. just be content with what you have and mm -hmm. make it work. Like just mm -hmm. work with whatever you have. Stop being exactly. And if it's not for you, then leave it alone. Yes, because I mean, why are you in a relationship in the first place if you're gonna cheat? Exactly. So leave relationships for people who wants to settle down, people who know what they want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, the last one that this is very important. The, this is my number one, okay? Love your partner wholeheartedly. Right? Oh. Show your love in any show way you can. It. Show it, stop saying yes. it and show it. It's okay? very lecker. <laughs> 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 you know, it's... <laughs> so just show, show your, your person that, show your partner that, you know what, I love you. And I'm gonna try mm -hmm. by all means to keep you. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna love you. Mm -hmm. you know? And there are many ways to show love. Um, I, I read this book a um, few years back, and still, like even now, I still use it. Like it's it's still very important. I forgot the writer, but the guy wrote um, five five. Now I can see it's working. Two years is definitely that book is <laughs> on fire. The book is amazing. You should all check it out. It's uh, Five Love Languages by Gary Gary Chapman. Yeah, I think so. Five Love, five love Languages. Yes. <laughs> so guys, check it out. It, it, it basically it talks about you know how you how how people like you know show their love to you and how you should show um love to 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 people it's not only in a you know your camera is off oh give me a break in life 